get into any theoretical uh, debate on that. Uh, the point which I'm making is uh, we have a different EU. We not any longer have an EU where people uh, would still have uh, very fresh memories of the Second World War. We would not have uh, uh, the, the generations of politicians that still uh, you know, were, were the war generations. I mean, Chancellor Kohl or uh, President Mitterrand or other people that uh, had a lot of devotion to, to it and were building a, a strong entity. We have politicians that uh, lack visions. We have politicians that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, don't have sufficient political courage. We like uh, politicians that uh, uh, reflect what uh, the polls, uh, the polls agencies show. We no longer uh, see, uh, 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 let's say, the European policies of member states well defined and able to define common interests uh, and, and, and go after. I mean, negotiate for sure, yes, argue, but at the end of the day, find a number of common denominators and, and come relatively easily to a solution which brings, uh, let's say, the issue further or which brings it forward. Uh, on the contrary, we have, uh, I'm not saying that it's wrong, I'm just saying that this is the current situation that uh, not only in the council, but you can feel it in the community institution, in, in, in the commission, you can even feel it in the European Parliament, uh, that uh, the domestic agenda from the member states starts to prevail. It is really what is driving, uh, uh, I would say, th this is the engine of the, uh, of the European Union nowadays.